Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video. And so in this video, we will be taking a look at our potential tropical cyclone, uh, which was previously known as Invest 94L. So watches and warnings are now issued for several areas. And we'll also be looking at our other disturbances and we'll, we're going to be seeing what is expected uh, during the next couple of days. And so before I go into details... <music> Okay, so currently we are taking a look at satellite imagery of the Atlantic Basin and we have three tropical waves across the region excluding the potential tropical cyclone. So we have a tropical wave that is making its way across sections of the Caribbean right now. And then of course behind that we have a potential tropical cyclone 2 or I'll just say PTC2 so you know that that's what I'm talking about. And then behind PTC2, we have two tropical waves uh, that are propagating towards the west, one of which is marked as a disturbance. So let us go ahead and look at these systems in detail. So first up, we have our Gulf disturbance. And so this one here is given a little higher chance, a 30% chance to possibly develop. So it's going to be loitering within that region off the coast of Texas. And regardless of it to develop it into a tropical cyclone or not, it is going to be uh, bringing some increased rainfall to the region, maybe some heavy rainfall at times along sections of the uh, Gulf Coast of Texas. So if you're along the Gulf Coast, please be aware of that happening. And next we have our other disturbance, which is given a 20% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone. And so this chance has been stagnant for a while. So imminent development of this is not expected. And so once it moves into that shaded region, that is where we could see some development and organization of this system here but uh, things might not be the best ahead of it because conditions look as though they might get a little bit hostile in the region uh, that's going to be making its way into but regardless it is likely to affect the lesser antilles just after ptc2 makes its way out and so let's actually go on to ptc2 right now so here is a look at it on satellite and we're seeing that it is not very organized and it is actually producing tropical storm force winds however there is no closed center of circulation with the disturbance and so as of now it is uh, just a potential tropical cyclone and watches and warnings were issued uh, because at that time it is likely to bring tropical storm conditions to those regions but technically it is still a tropical disturbance so let's go ahead and see what the national hurricane center is expecting for the system here so here we have the cone of uncertainty and we're seeing that these we have some areas highlighted in yellows and blues so the blue indicates that there are uh, tropical storm warnings that are in place and so a tropical storm warning is in effect for Trinidad and Tobago as well as Grenada and its dependencies and then the tropical storm watch which is highlighted in yellow is in effect for the coast of Venezuela from Pedernales to Cumana including Islas de Margarita, Coche and Cubagua. So I hope that I pronounced those correctly. And the tropical storm watch is also in effect for the island of Benir. So uh Tropical storm-like conditions are likely within the areas that are under a tropical storm warning starting as early as this evening. So uh, that very heavy rainfall, the gusty winds, as well as the storm surge are expected. And so in terms of how strong the system will be at the time, it, as I said earlier, it has tropical storm force winds. Winds are about 40 miles per hour right now with gusts up to 45 miles per hour. And so uh, it does, as I said, it doesn't have a closed center of circulation. That is what's preventing it from being an officially named tropical cyclone and it is going to be interacting a lot with land and that will help to uh, keep the intensity at a minimum because land interaction is not uh, something that is favorable for us to see development because of course uh, the storm is not over warm ocean waters anymore and that is going to be interfering with it so we could see this thing maybe intensify into a tropical storm by tonight or early tomorrow morning but its overall intensity will depend on its proximity to land so once it remains over the warm ocean waters of the southeastern Caribbean while it's making its way across the Windward Islands and going into the ABC Islands uh, we could see some eventual intensification however if it sticks closer to land we could uh, we can expect to see a system that is not so strong maybe on the weak side but as of right now 
the National Hurricane Center is expecting that maybe by Saturday we could be seeing a hurricane. So this thing here could intensify into a hurricane before making landfall in Nicaragua. So if you're in Nicaragua, you definitely have to keep an eye on this uh, as you're going to be heading into this weekend because it could be a hurricane at the time of landfall, but that could change. As I said, the intensity depends on how close it is to land. And so guys, all the heavy rainfall expected from the system here could result in flash flooding, especially in flood prone areas, guys. So please and uh, take all the necessary precautions and stay safe because this thing here, even though it might not be a very strong system, that doesn't make it any less dangerous. So please take all the necessary precautions. And so now taking a look at conditions within the vicinity of the Atlantic. And so uh, first we're taking a look at the dry air maps. So so this is the cell map and all of what you're seeing in those bright colors represents dry air and as we head more to the oranges the dark oranges the reds and that slight pink shade that is when we have more of an abundance of dry air and so uh currently we're seeing that ptc2 is in an area that is conducive there is not much dry air intrusion of the system here so uh behind it though we have our other two systems and the, the wave that is behind it is expected to move on a more northwestward like track and so it's going to be encountering more hostile conditions and there is likely to be increasing shear across the northern caribbean and so that is going to be helping to keep this thing here not so strong but it might have a fighting chance to probably get an organization and intensify into a tropical cyclone and so next looking at the wind shear maps so there is some wind shear that might be affecting the system right now but for the most part things are conducive ahead of it uh again that land interaction is going to be that main inhibiting factor as it accelerates towards the west but as for the other systems there is likely to be increasing shear as i said earlier that is going to be resulting in uh, conditions being more hostile out there so for that second wave behind uh ptc2 uh, maybe it won't become something very significant but regardless as it makes its way westward or to the northwest and makes its way over the lesser antilles and maybe sections of the greater antilles it will probably bring a lot of rainfall with it so we definitely have to keep an eye on it uh, regardless of what conditions are expected to be because sometimes these systems even surprise us so we definitely have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be but as for ptc2 it's likely that we will have a tropical storm bonnie from the system here maybe by tonight going into tomorrow and so again if if you're in portions of the Windward Islands, ABC Islands, or Northern Venezuela, and you're to be impacted by the system here, please take all the necessary precautions and do not underestimate uh, the system. Regardless of its strength and intensity, it's likely to bring some conditions that could be dangerous. The most devastating impact from any tropical cyclone is always with the water, whether it be the storm surge, especially with our strong hurricanes, or the rainfall. In this case, the heavy rainfall that is expected could trigger flash flooding in flood prone areas so please guys take all the necessary precautions and stay safe as uh, this system is going to be making its way by and so guys that is really it for this update video and i will be giving the necessary updates as time goes by so if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or as a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weather wise